Hello friends and welcome to virtual story time at the Chippewa River District Library. Will you join me in singing the hello song? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Welcome to story time. Guess what our theme is today? It's dogs, and I have two of my doggy friends here with me. This is Jed, who is five years old, and Q, who is 13 and a half years old, and they are therapy dogs. They do some really awesome work. We're gonna learn all about them and dogs today at story time. I've got the perfect book to get us started right over here. Here we have Bark George by Jules Pfeffer. Let's take a look and see what happens to George. George's mother said, Bark George. George went, Meow. Oh my goodness, that's not what a puppy is supposed to say. They're supposed to go bark, aren't they? Hmm, I wonder what's up with George. No, George, said George's mother. Cats go meow, dogs go arf. Now bark, George. And George went quack, quack. Oh my goodness, that's not the sound a dog makes either, is it? Whew, George, what's wrong? No, George, said George's mother. Ducks go quack, quack. Dogs go arf. Now, bark, George. And George went, oink. No, George, said George's mother. Pigs go oink, dogs go oof. Now bark, George. Oh my goodness, can you see George's mother? She looks very stressed out by this situation. What do you think George is going to say? George went, Moo. If you'd like to find out if George ever learns how to bark, you can check this book out from the library. There'll be a link in the description below to check it out. Now that we've met George and Q and Jed, I want to talk about another dog and teach you a song. This song is called My Dog Rags and it has three motions that we can learn as we sing the song. So the first part is we're gonna give ourselves doggy ears and we're gonna go flip flop with our doggy ears. Flip flop like that. And then we're gonna wag our tails and go wig wag like that. Can you wag your tail with me? Wig wag. And then we're gonna put our hands together and go zig zag for the last part. Zig zag like that. Here's how the song goes. You can follow along with those motions and a couple of others that I do in the song. I got a dog and his name is Rex. He eats so much that his tummy sacks. His ears flip flop and his tails wig wag. And when he walks, he goes zigzag. He goes flip flop wig wag. Zigzag, he goes flip flop wig wag. Zigzag, he goes flip flop wig wag. Zigzag, I love rags and he loves me. Let's try that song one more time following along with the motions. I've got a dog and his name is Rags. He eats so much that his tummy sags. His ears flip flop and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he goes zigzag. He goes flip flop wig wag. Zigzag, he goes flip flop wig wag. Zigzag, he goes flip flop wig wag. Zigzag, I love rags and he loves me. Hi, it's time to write. So let's get writing with a pen or we can trace and follow along in the air. All right, let's get started with today's word. I've put some dashes on the board and we're gonna follow those dashes to practice filling in this word. Let's start at the beginning with the capital letter here. That 
that's a capital D a lowercase o and way down below the line is our G D O G D O G dog. I've got another song to teach you and this one you might already know a little bit about. We are going to do the doggy pokey heavily influenced by the hokey pokey. So if you know the hokey pokey this song will be easy to learn and even if you don't it's very simple. We're gonna just think of different parts of a dog like their paws and we're gonna put them in and then out again. Here we go. Get your paws ready. You put your paws in, you put your paws out, you put your paws in and you shake them all about. You do the doggy pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Let's get our ears ready this time. Get your doggy floppy ears ready. You put your ears in, you put your ears out, you put your ears in and you shake them all about. You do the doggy pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Woof, woof. <laughs> Let's do one more. Let's do our doggy tails. Ready? You put your tail in, you put your tail out, you put your tail in and you shake it all about. You do the doggy pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Woof, woof. Good job, friends. Thanks for doing that song with me. Friends, let's talk a little bit more about Q and Jed, who we met earlier on today. They are some really awesome therapy dogs, and they go into different places and they help people by calming them down. Have you ever been calmed down by the presence of a dog? Mm -hmm. I asked Jed and Q's owner some questions about who they are and what kind of therapy dogs they are. She shared lots of information with me along with some very cute clips of Jed and Q out and about. So I want to show you those clips and talk a little bit about what a therapy dog is and what kind of things they might do. Q and Jed, along with some of their siblings that you see here, are a breed of dog called a Papillon. Papillon is the French word for butterfly, and they've earned that name because of their ears. You can see that their ears kind of look like butterfly wings, and the fringe, the hair that comes off their ears, floats like a butterfly flapping its wings. As therapy dogs, Q and Jed are registered with a therapy organization. They've passed tests and been evaluated to make sure that they have the basic obedience and manners and behaviors in public to make them a good therapy dog. Here they are doing some of their tricks and showing off for us. So why do dogs make good therapy animals? Dogs are people pleasers. They want to make people happy and they like being around people and being loved and petted. We know that petting any animal, whatever animal you own, can calm you down and lower your blood pressure. Also, dogs are really non-judgmental. In a hospital, a medical facility, or in an education setting, they're not a peer or a teacher or a parent or a doctor. They just go in and they're just who they are. They're there for you to love and to have a good time with. You can catch Q and Jed volunteering in places all over the mid-Michigan area. They've been to mid-Michigan hospital, medical care facilities, they go into schools and after school programs and clubs, and you can even catch them here at the library. They come to some of our teen events to help our teens relax during their lock-in, and they've participated in a children's reading program where children get to read to dogs in a non-judgmental environment. They're all over the place and they're here for you to love on and care for. Thanks, Q and Jed. 
Whoa, that was some really interesting information. I am so glad that Jed and Q came by and shared some of what they do within the community with us. What interesting things dogs can do, don't you think? Yeah. Well, friends, we have reached the end of our program for today, and it's time to say goodbye to Q and Jed and me. Let's sing the goodbye song. Goodbye, friends. Good.